Mark heads out on a New Hampshire field trip. I'm driving to Gilmanton, New Hampshire, and I'm going to check out one of the oldest homes in America. It's a salt box style house, and if there's one thing that I've wanted to do since I got up here to New England, it's walk inside of a salt box house. The Gilmanton house was built in 1635. <laughs> oh, baby. This is what I came to New England to see right here. An original salt box. Named for its unusual shape, this type of home resembles the container early settlers used to store salt. This house was made as a two over two, meaning a first floor and a second floor. And when they wanted to add on to it over time, they just extended the roof line. A lot of times they would go as low as six feet to the ground. <laughs> you don't get one foot in this place before you realize that it's special. I feel like I just stepped back in time. I mean, even this chair is from 1635. This is living history right here. It's got a summer beam construction. A summer beam is the main carrying beam in this room with floor joists that are notched into it. All of this woodwork right here, this is original from the 1600s. All right, so this is the extension of the salt box house. Low, low ceilings. This would have been the uh, cooking area, the kitchen. This is an original pilgrim broom. This is actually one piece of wood. So they whittled it down, and then when they got down here, they just sort of splayed it out just a little bit. The pilgrims made something out of everything. Whatever they had for, to eat, they recycled the horn and made the cups out of it. Oh yeah, now this is how you build a modern addition. When you make a transition from an original house into an area of the house that needs to be a little more modern, we always tell people, start with the ceiling. And in this case, we've got hand-hewn pine beams, wide plank floors. These are actually hand-stenciled floors. You want a farm sink? You got it right here. It blends seamlessly with the walls, with the beams. You want to watch TV and let your kids ignore you while they're over there eating breakfast? Here, do it that way. This is how it works. You don't have to give up a modern lifestyle to have an old house. This is a style of architecture that I have been wanting to see since I got into restoring old log houses. It's beautiful.